So we've just received our Razer Laptop Stand Chroma V2. And tonight we're gonna to be unboxing it. We're gonna take a look around at all the new features on this year's model. And then we're gonna plug it in to our Razer Blade and actually test this device. So let's get started and open the box. So the packaging is really quite minimal. I think Razer really making the effort to try not to over package devices like they used to. So we've got a plain brown cobbled box, opening it up and we're instantly greeted with our new Chroma V2 laptop stand. Other than that, we've got an instruction manual and that is it, very, very bare bones. Right, so they've put some cellophane over the actual stand itself. We're gonna open it up and then take a look around it. So there we go. So this is the plain black model and it fits all the razor blades up to the 17 inch. Now the V2 does have a decent port selection, so we're gonna look at that in a minute and then we are gonna test them out. So straight away, you can see we've got the Razer logo on the top and this whole top section is a lovely smooth satin feeling rubber. Plus at the bottom lip here, it's rubber again. And this is obviously when you put your laptop on here, it's gonna grip nicely into place. Now obviously this is a Razer laptop stand, but you don't need to just use it for a Razer laptop. Other laptops will fit perfectly on it as well. Now we've also got a USB-C cable on this year's model. So if I just unwind it, we're braided with a little protection cap on the ends. Now this is a USB type C, so you can plug it into your laptop, which can then provide power to your laptop if you set it up that way, and then provides all the ports and RGB lighting on this stand directly to this dock. First things first, I'm just gonna sit my Razer Blade 15 on there so that you can see it sitting in place. So grips in there nicely, feet fit perfectly on the back, so you've still got plenty of airflow underneath. And the advantage to using one of these stands, not only do you get a better angle on the screen, especially if you're running a dual or triple monitor setup, but also you're allowing it better airflow underneath the actual laptop itself. Because the problems with the laptops, they do keep them very low to the desk, and without lifting them back up, they run a lot hotter. So we're gonna quickly take a look around the ports, and then we're gonna plug it in, look at the RGB and the configurations. I'm gonna go left to right. We've got a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1. Now this will provide your display out if you so wish, or you can provide it for hard drives or other bits and pieces. So this will either do 4K 60 or 1440p at 120 hertz, and we will be testing that shortly. We've then got two USB-A ports for your peripherals. I'll probably plug my keyboard and my mouse into these two ports here. And then lastly, you've got your HDMI 2 port. This will also do 4K 60 or 1440p at 120 hertz. And again, I will be testing that shortly. And then lastly, this is just your power delivery port. So you cannot use this for anything other than providing power to this actual laptop stand, which will then provide power to your laptop. Now, if you use a 100 watt USB-C charger into this point here, it will provide 80 watts to your laptop and the other 20 watts will be provided to the peripherals and the actual dock and RGB itself. And if you use a 65 watt USB-C adapter, you'll get 46 watt to the actual laptop and the rest again will be to the peripherals and the RGB of this device. So I'm gonna quickly set this up. We're gonna look at the RGB and we're gonna test the actual connections. Okay, so we're up and running and everything is now plugged into the dock. I currently have my 2022 17 inch razor blade sitting on the dock. And as you can see, the USB-C cable is plugged in and we now have the chroma lights, which looks absolutely incredible at the bottom of this dock. And all of these peripherals are currently plugged in to the actual dock itself. So I only have the power cable and the USB-C on the laptop, and this is all up and running. So first things first, we're gonna look at Razer Synapse. So as you can see, the peripherals that are all plugged in at the moment are all showing in Razer Synapse. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about Razer is the fact that it all does mesh well together. Now, I'm gonna click on my Razer laptop stand, Chroma V2, and you can see straight away that we have some lighting effects we can change for our light bar at the bottom. Now I've currently got that set to the wave, it's one of my favorites, but you could easily change it to just breathing, fire, spectrum cycling, so it just goes through all the random colors. And if you don't like any of the presets, you can go into the advanced effects in Chroma Studios and set it up exactly how you like it on all of your Razer devices. But at the moment, I'm gonna go straight back to my wave. I really like this effect. On the left-hand side, we do also have the brightness of it. So if you do find it too bright, you can turn it right down. But if you're gonna have this with the RGB, let's whack it up. And lastly, we've got a little checkbox at the bottom here that will switch your lighting off when your monitor turns off. So if you check this box here, if you walk away from your computer and you have your computer set to turn the monitor off, all the razor lighting will go off with it. Personally, I like it sparkling away, so I'm gonna leave that off. 
Now, if we go into NVIDIA control panel, you can currently see we are set up to our 2560 by 1440 at 120 hertz on my Razer Raptor monitor. Now, this monitor can go up to 165 hertz, but you won't get that through this dock. It is limited to the 120 hertz. And if you try and change the refresh rate above that, you will get some artifacting on the screen. So if you want higher than 120 hertz on your monitor, you will need to plug the monitor directly to the laptop, not the dock. So there we go, this little dock, not only does it look great, provides extra airflow for our laptops, fits any laptop between say 13 inches right up to these giant 17 inch laptops. Best thing about it is you can plug all your devices into the actual dock itself. So when you come to set up your laptop, you plug your power, you plug your actual USB-C, and you're all up and running as you can see here. And that's something I absolutely love about these docks. Now if you're using a lower power laptop, like an Ultrabook or something, you can power the Ultrabook directly from this dock itself, so it will literally be one cable setup. But obviously with a gaming laptop, you're gonna to wanna to keep the power plugged in to give it maximum performance. So there we go. If you've got any questions, as usual, pop it in the comment sections down below and I will get back to you. We will be doing more videos on this entire Razer setup coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Those will be coming through. And lastly, thank you for watching.